Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy of Kathy's Cash and Coin. I'm a single mom with three daughters, although my oldest is grown and out of the house, living in Kentucky with her fiance. And my middle daughter is away at college now. And so it is Autumn, my 10 year old and myself here. I want to thank all of you for coming back and supporting my channel and those of you that are new i hope you consider subscribing while you're here i like to do budget with me's and show how i figure out what money is going where um i hope everyone is doing well i live in the chicagoland area and the weather has been absolutely gorgeous sunny and a little chilly but i love sweater weather so that's what it's been like fall is definitely here beautiful beautiful time of year i love it so um we are going to get right into this we're going to use the elevated life co workbook duo from miss uh Brittany and taylor the elevated life co is the company and i will have it linked below and we are budgeting my last paycheck of september i get paid on september 30th so we are gonna go ahead and get right into this all right, so I have one income. Um, I work full time for my union and I did extra hours and actually I worked for our national office a little bit. So my paycheck is a little bit more or quite a bit more than it usually is, um, which is wonderful. I am taking home $2,750 this paycheck. All right, so I might have to turn this a little. I hope this doesn't annoy any, anyone, but uh, just because I'm right-handed, it's not working out well. All right, so we're gonna start with my mortgage. For mortgage, as I explained in my last budget um, with me, I am budgeting $1,100 a paycheck, which will give me a little bit extra every month. And then when I have a third paycheck every year, which I didn't use my third paycheck well this year, but, or this month, um, it will be an extra two extra mortgage payments a year is I think what I calculated. All right, and then this month we have a water bill, which is about $50. Phones, phones come to $350. Uh, I have multiple phones on my line and my sister um, will pay me for her line eventually. So it's, and I also have uh, devices I'm still paying on, which they should be almost done. I'm going to have to look into that. All right. And then security, uh, my security with ADT is $59 a month. My Venture One card is my highest card. I think I'm going to try and do $200 this paycheck. And then I have a couple personal loans and that is $171 a paycheck. All right. And then Netflix Netflix comes out, that's about $25. And then Apple, um, Apple storage. I'm trying to remember. I think we have a couple different ones. I'm going to say it's about $15 a month for all of them. And then I have a political fund that I donate to everyone. So those are all the monthly bills for this paycheck. Then we're going to move on to my wallet. The black here, it, I'm kind of trying to decipher the difference. So I am going to do $150 for food. That seems to be working out well for Autumn and myself. Autumn does get free lunch and breakfast at school when she so chooses. So um, with just the two of us here, it's really uh, working out well. And gas, I am spending about $150 every paycheck. So it's crazy that those two are the same. It's wild. So the rest of these pets, gifts, medical, and clothes. I do $20 a paycheck. Might have to end up doing more in, a, in medical. Um, I have some prescriptions that uh, my doctor's putting me on, basically um, like calcium, things like that. So I might bump uh, that up next paycheck, depending on how much those prescriptions are gonna be. So we're gonna total all this up. $2,375. I'm just going to do it one more time just to be sure. $2,375. And 
and we're gonna take that from, or we'll take 2750 minus 2375 equals $375 exactly left. All right, so we are gonna move on to my first binder, which is my pink binder. I kind of have it uh, color coded and you'll see as we go through, I have a lot of binders and a lot of envelopes. And I know for some, it would make sense to just take a chunk and fully fund something, but this is the system that works for me. Put a little bit away in each little category and it work, it's what works for me. So I always say, do what works for you, what works for your budget. If, the, if it works this way to, for you to save money, then do it this way. If it works better for you to fully fund one category and move on to the next, then do it that way. All right, so we're gonna start with giving. And giving is getting $5. And mom fuel is gonna get $25. I really need to go and get the stuff I put in my coffee. I put protein powder. Um, MCT oil in it. Like I, I think I've said this before, I drink bulletproof coffee. Um, and then miscellaneous. I'm not going to put anything in because we haven't really spent out of it. I, I just kind of keep, keep the 10 in there. It's $10 in there, but I don't even really realize it's there. Self-care is going to get $25. I really need to go and get my nails done. Um, and school is going to get $5. Landscaper is also going to get $5. Costco, that trip is going to be coming pretty soon, but it's it's got a good amount in there, so we're just going to stick with five. I think all of these, we're going to stick with five. Family fun, birthdays, this is for my daughter's birthdays, and then holidays, I will probably spend out of this soon for Autumn's Halloween costume, so we're going to total this up real quick. Could probably do that in my head. 85. All right, so from 375 minus 85, $290 left. And we are going to move on to my other sinking fund sheets. All right, and these sinking fun sheets are from Paper by Mo. I think I said Mo Lifestyle in the other video. Mo Lifestyle was her uh, channel name prior to Paper by Mo, and she is Paper by Mo on Etsy and Paper. I think it's PaperbyMo.com even. So we are going to start with my first binder, and you'll see on a couple of these I made some errors, so please forgive me, um, but I love these sheets because it has my goal, and I, I get to track where I'm starting at to really figure out how much, um, how much further I need to go with each of them. Now this is my dated binder. My dated binder, I know exactly how much I need to put. I'm sorry, again, I'm going to turn it a bit. I know exactly how much I need to put in each of these to get it fully funded by the time these things come up. Christmas, obviously, is in December. My car registration is February. Amazon just came out in August. Disney Plus is February. ID theft is November. And then wedding is next October, so I have another year. All right, so for Christmas, we are doing $30. Car registration is $5 and Amazon Prime is $5. Disney Plus, we're gonna do $6. ID theft, um, ID theft needs $15. And for wedding, we're gonna do $25. Um, this is my travel binder. Um, this will be for trips down to Kentucky for my daughter's wedding, bridal shower, all of that. I, I think I'm just going to do $1 in each one and then we'll see where we're at. If we have extra money to come back, this was, this is where we would come to, but we'll start and see where we are. We have $290, but this is not the only sinking fund sheet. So let's give this a total. $93, so that means we have $197 left. And we'll move on to the next sheet. All right, you'll see on this one, I made a big error. I kinda 
put a total here because I thought it was going to be done. I added swim team. This is my long-term binder. Autumn is taking swim um, in the summer and right now through the winter. The winter here and in the summer in Michigan. And I don't really save up for that. And I'm going to start now. Um, each team totals about $500. I think that also um, would cover a, a new suit. Every season she'll need a new suit because she sure wears them out. Um, so we are going to start with glasses. And I think I decided all except for car maintenance are going to get $5. Yeah, $5 for glasses, $5 for passports. You know what, no, I'm gonna go $10 for passports and get it up to an even 200, we'll be 100 away then. $5 for Australia, $5 for ortho, $5 for student loan, and I will, when this gets to 200 again, I'll make another payment. $5 for my envelope, this is for my new comforter and maybe a whole bedding set, I will see. I would, I would like a really, um, a really nice comforter for once. Health will give $5. Car maintenance will be the one that gets 25. That'll get it up to 400. And then swim team. <laughs> I think for swim team, we're just going to start with $5 for now. And then let's see where we're at. $70. So this is 70. And we had 197 minus 70. I probably could have did that in my head. So we have 127 left. <laughs> All right. And you guys saw me if you saw my last video, I stuffed uh, my new home binder. I would like to regularly stuff them and not just wait for my YouTube income because that is um, non-existent right now, which is fine. I am not complaining. I enjoy doing this, whether or not I get paid for it. Obviously that's a perk of it, but not necessary. So we are gonna start with decor and decor, I think I'm gonna just do $5. Just too hard for me to do it. I'm sorry, guys. If I hope this doesn't bother you. All right, furniture. We're gonna do ten dollars. Get it at even two fifty. Appliances. We should do ten as well. We'll do ten dollars. It's at even two fifty. Outdoors. We'll just go back down to five. Security. I'm gonna do ten dollars. And home maintenance. I am gonna do twenty. All right, and then we're moving on to my other green binder. This is a dark green, this is a mint green. Um, this is our savings binder. So uh, it's kind of really long-term um, long uh, savings. So Ari's car, Ari, I am matching her car savings. She has about 650 saved now. I think I'm gonna do just $5. Um, my new car. I'll just do five dollars. I'm not gonna do anything for old bills. Month ahead, nothing. And then my savings and Ari and Audie's savings, five dollars each. Let's see where we're at. Hopefully we are not over because I would like to stuff the Harry Potter binder too. <laughs> $85 and we had 127 left. We have $42 left. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be cutting it close. And my final binder that will be stuffed with this paycheck is my new Harry Potter binder. So I have $42 left. So, Mm -hmm. There's 10 envelopes. I could do four in each one, but I don't think I want to do that. So we'll say $1, $5. Actually, we'll just do kind of match it up here, except for food. Five, five. 
five, five and spend, five in transportation. We'll do one dollar in beauty, one dollar in miscellaneous. So we have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 28. So we're doing all right. Souvenirs will get five dollars. Emergency. Hmm. You know what? Emergency will go up to eight dollars. So we have five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, one, two, three. Oh my gosh, I think we're just right where we need to be, right? Holy moly, $41. And that leaves me $1 left if I just did all the math right. So let's see. All right, so the Harry Potter binder was $41. The new home and safe were $42. I'm sorry, $85. $42 was what was left. And my whiteout is out, so... It's gonna be messy if I mess up. <laughs> the long term was $70. And the date of vacation was $93. So we're gonna add all five of this these categories up. $374 dollars out of 375 which leaves us one dollar remaining oh my gosh i'm so excited that all of my binders are getting some love with the paycheck and not with my you know extra hundred envelope challenge although that's good to have for challenges um i'm super excited about this again thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed um i know it, like i said i have a lot of categories i have a lot of binders um, but th this is what works for me, stuffing them and the excitement and the fun of stuffing them. Even if it's a dollar, it keeps me motiv motivated to keep going. So do what works for you. And, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I usually forget to say that. So I appreciate you all. I hope you're having a wonderful week. Take care and have a blessed day. Bye.